Let us now look at the types of goodwill. Now, goodwill broadly can be of two types. One is self-generated and the other one is purchased. Now, although both these terms are self-explanatory, let's look at what each one of them means. Right? Now, as the word itself suggests, self-generated. Self means by you or in this case, the company. Generated means created. So, self-generated goodwill is something which is created by the original businessman. Or, let's say, suppose you start your own business, okay, year one, two, three, four. You start your own business, keep on working hard, keep on providing good quality service, keep on providing customer feedbacks and everything, do all the good work, and by the end of four years, what happens is, whatever business you had started, let's say XYZ, okay, that business creates a very good reputation in the market. You've created a goodwill. So that is the self-created goodwill which is there. You do not pay anything to anyone, but it is over your efforts, the efforts you've put them into the business that results in generation of goodwill. Now, what do you mean by purchase goodwill? Let's say for suppose there is another company, ABC, okay, who is a worldwide leader in a particular business. Now, ABC, let's say, suppose, come into India and what they do is that they decide that instead of maybe starting from year 1, 2, 3 and 4, let us purchase the business from XYZ. Okay? When they purchase the business from XYZ, they make a payment to XYZ for all the assets, including goodwill. Right? So for ABC, once this goodwill is recorded in the books of accounts, it becomes a purchased goodwill. Right? Now, insofar as your accounting for partnership is concerned, how is this relevant? The relevance for this is, let's say for some example, XYZ was earlier carried on by X, Y and Z. Right? There were three partners. Now suddenly, another fourth partner, A, says, I want to join XYZ. Okay, XYZ say, well, pay us for the asset, also pay us for the goodwill. So the determination of goodwill becomes important because the new partner who comes in has to make a payment to the old partners for the goodwill that they have created in the business. Right? So this could be any time. Let's say for example, we are currently talking about admission if a new partner comes in. What if X decides to leave? Even in that case, what X will say is, look, the value of the asset which I had in the firm is one thing, there is a goodwill that firm carries. So if I am leaving the business, this goodwill is now going to come and rest with the two of you. So you also pay me my proportionate share in the goodwill. Right? So all these other situations, there can be admission, retirement, death, or maybe dissolution of the firm as well. Or maybe someone else might just come and buy it out as well. So these are the two types of goodwill which are there, self-generated, purchased. This is created, this is taken from someone else. With this we come to the end of this video. This video is provided to you by www.iidbook.com and this is Arun Jay, your educator for this video. We hope you had a good time understanding this video. We look forward to having you in many more videos ahead where we will be doing the actual calculation of goodwill under different scenarios. Thank you very much.